Hey guys, this is Ash here from Network Studios. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing an app review. Now, this is going to kind of be um, a new series where I'm going to go through some apps. So if you want to comment down below an app you want me to go through next, um, I will go through an app. Um, what you suggest but I do also have a few apps on here already um, which I will go through and just show you guys um, exactly uh, what they like and uh, all of that kind of shiz so today we're going to be reviewing the DJ2 app now in my opinion this app is actually a pretty sick app now I've known about this app for a very very long time however I've not used it for a well I have been using it recently but before then, I hadn't used it for a while, and uh, it kind of like got all um, updated, I guess you can say. Um, and it's a lot different to when I last used it. So when I first originally found out about this app, it was a free app on the App Store. And uh, you could basically, you know, just simply mix your records together. You could put two records on a turntable um, and you could just basically, you know, play and pause, sync. And you could just up the crossfaders and, you know, change the pitch and all of that stuff. And, you know, put a few echoes in um, and record a little mix. But since then, the app has developed a very long way. There is a PC version. There is obviously an app you can get on your iPad just called DJ2, 79p on the App Store. And then basically what happens is you can also get it on your Android as well. So if you have an Android device, um, you can get it. Now, there is ways to get this for free. So if you are one of them people uh, what don't like... Um, you know, paying for your apps, you can get it for free, uh, the only trouble is, is you might not have the exact fully up-to-date version, it might have a few missing features, so what's so good about this app, well, it's actually a really amazing app, you can actually um, record um, your own mixes, and you can practically mix like a pro mix on this app, like this doesn't like, this doesn't slack on anything, if I'm like right, like you, like like you guys may probably think like this is just some cheap little you know thing. What isn't really that that interesting, you know? Like it might help you beginningly, but if you really want to take up pro mixing, then you're probably gonna want to buy like a twenty pound you know program on your PC or something. But that's where you're wrong. You can actually do some pretty decent mixing on here. So as you can see, the layout looks like a vinyl. Um, a vinyl um, set of um, decks so you've got like your records and uh, it uses your iTunes library if it's on Android it uses your Android library and uh, if it's on a PC again this only works on an Apple Mac PC so you can only get it for you know sort of like Apple computers and things like that it does not work on Windows so again that will probably use your iTunes again and uh, like I say, it's got some cool features. So obviously you have the decks where you load your tracks onto. Um, you can do all your scratching and stuff. Um, you can press this button here, which will slowly start the record at a slow uh, BPM, like this. And then it will start going quicker. And then again, you can press that and it will slowly stop it. Um, you have also just got a play and a pause button so you can just literally play and uh, pause it and um, you've got a cue button so you can set a cue so if you want um, for example if you want to find a good place in the track um, you can go ahead and set a cue uh, you can press this button as well and it will show you like this like wiggly line like where about the beat drops and stuff in a track or where the sort of like where the notes I guess go higher and where they go lower so if you are struggling or you want to get to a place a bit quicker uh, you can go ahead and go a bit quicker or if you see it in the top here you can just tap there it'll take you there and then you'll just set cue and then if you want to go back to that cue you just press this button here what I'm tapping um, and it'll take it back to that cue and you can also add more than one cue by simply tapping this button here going to here and you can uh, basically set different cue points so if you're kind of like mixing a song in 
for example, and maybe like one song comes to a part where it has, you know, more words than a beat, but you want to put the words in with the other song, you can set a cue point there, so once you've used the words once, if you want it to say the words again in the mix a bit later on, uh, you can actually go back to that cue point. And what the cool thing is about it is as well, is if you set a cue point, when you load another track, so if you, so if I set a cue track here, for example, and then I um, have finished with this track for now, but I might want to come back to it later, if you change track and then go back to this track, your cue point will still be there. So if you're using a Pacific word, what maybe says like, let's get this started, let's get this started a few times, if you go back to the track, you can then simply just play that, let's get this started again, and you won't have to find the cue point again. Um, you have a, a crossfader to go from one deck to the other, um, and you can also just press this little arrow here, and it'll slowly move it. Um, if you do it without a track playing, it will start automatically playing the track, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have a tempo fader, so if you want to make the track go faster or slower. And the reason that you'll know it's in the middle um, and it's normal beat is there'll be a little green light just there. Uh, you can also press a sync button. So if you want two tracks to be at the same beat, you can just press sync. And then if you press sync again, it will then start playing the other track. And uh, just to pre-warn you, um, if you press sync and then just press play, it's still going to sound out of place. If you press sync again, it's then going to take you to basically um, put the beats to match so it sounds a bit more like they're mixing together and not just one beat playing over the top um, of another beat. You've got the plus arrow and the minus arrow. Um, this can just basically um, choose you if you play that. You know, you can make it go like really quick or you can make it go really slow. So if you're playing like that, you can pick it up really quick depending on how you know much you want to press it. So you can pitch it up for a bit, you can slow it down for a bit, um, which is absolutely um, really cool. Um, at the top, we have a settings button. Um, where you can just, you know, choose uh, about your library, show the album artwork, that kind of stuff, uh, remove songs when played, that type of thing, show artwork, you know, um, hide songs in the cloud, you can do all sorts, um, you can do a split output, um, you need to buy a, a, a separate type of wire for this, so, for example, um, it's basically when you're mixing a song together, uh, before you actually mix it together, uh, you can get it to the right beat inside of your headphones without the people uh, you're playing the music out loud to, uh, without them being able to hear it. There's a skin store and an effect, uh, an, an effect store, so you can actually buy a skin for this. Um, I believe this is the only skin at the moment, a gold skin. Um, but they probably like, you know, have um, other skins uh, available uh, in the future. And uh, you can also like click MIDI, which is just basically uh, if you're plugging in a controller, um, so you can like make it. Sub oh, I've just clicked off it there a sec to the website. Um, yeah, you can like, you know, connect DJ controllers. So if you have a controller, what works with this app, like an actual, you know, DJ Dex controller, you can use that as well, uh, which is really cool. We have an information, which will just tell you, you know, you can watch an introduction video. Um, you can just check, you know, social websites. Um, it'll also tell you the related apps, so you can get DJ Pro now for iPad, DJ Pro for Mac. Uh, DJ Pro for iPhone, DJ 2 for iPhone, um, VJ for iPad and VJ for iPhone. Uh, you can just follow them on Instagram and all of that kind of stuff. Um, iBook, how to DJ, tips and tricks. Uh, you have a record button where you can basically go ahead and record your tracks. So if you want to record your tracks, you can go ahead and you know record them and then uh, you can share them. Uh, you can also edit them as well. Um, you can open them up in like some editing programs and you can edit them and then you can go ahead and do things like share them to Facebook, upload them to YouTube, do whatever the hell you want to do with them. Um, we've got the auto mix down here. Uh, that'll basically 
just automatically mix one track in after the other um when you're um playing um when you're playing a song so for example if you want to go ahead and um you know just play a bunch of songs but um you don't want them you know you don't want to hear a gap between them you can just have them mix in together and uh, you can simply click the music button and you can actually add songs to a queue so you add them to a queue and then you can make them you know like mix in to each other and then you won't hear that um you know like gap between them and you won't have to you know go and select the next song you want to play you can just set loads to play uh, one after the other uh, you can also make this bigger and smaller you can make that white or black so if you're in a bit more of a you know darker place if you actually set it to, to black uh, you can actually go ahead and you can see that the writing a bit more and it just gives that more night vision look you can also search for your tracks you can go to your albums artist and you can also open things from other files um, so if you click this you can actually find some other files what might have some tracks on and you can also use your Spotify uh, but you've got to have the premium of that which is pretty good um, we have a we have a launch pad where you can DJ. click loads of beats effects and you can also edit them uh, you can get a dubstep pack um, you can even get a Snoop Dogg pack Shizzle, One, two. So that's pretty cool. And then, like I say, you get the effects button, which basically, you can, again, you can do more with the pitching. Uh, you can add, like, echoing effects, um, flashing. Um, you can add, like, flanger effects. Um, you can also click some of these and they do different effects um, again you can also do looping if you want to add your own loop you can you can add like like that so if you want to add your own looping in um, you also get like a pad and then you can like go ahead and make the beat drop um, which is absolutely insane what you can actually do and uh, yeah so it's a pretty cool app um, if you ask me um, I really like it, it's 79p on the app store I'm not sure about the Android store and I'm not sure what it's like on PC and uh, just to note, if you do buy a controller to go with this application, you sometimes get given a free copy of the software for the PC. So if you want the software for the copy of the PC, um, you know, you can buy a controller. And most controllers what work with the iPad will work with the PC as well. So if you want to use both, then you can go ahead and use both. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We shall see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and uh, comment down below what app you would like to see in the future.